Welcome to Masters of Max, a mobile app experience podcast. Please welcome your host, Tom Buda, Chief Strategy and Marketing Officer at Airship. Welcome to another episode of Masters of Max. It's absolutely my pleasure to welcome Julie Osk to the show. Julie, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. So, Julie, you've got this great set of credentials. You know, you're an author, you're an analyst, so it's all based on some form of data that's really ins- interesting and inspiring. But you're also a public speaker. So tell us a little bit about how you would characterize yourself. Yeah, so thank you, Tom, and thank you again for having me here to the podcast. So when I think about myself and what I've been doing over the past 30, 35 years or so, I really think about myself as a bit of a futurist, a creative futurist. I really thrive at the intersection of consumers and technology and business. And I've spent the past 25 years or so defining the future of mobile and mobile experiences. There's a lot going on with consumer digital experiences today that we're going to dive into. But one of the really core components of that is mobile messaging. And I would actually kind of classify myself as a bit of a mobile messaging nerd uh, because they're so key to also the important of future digital experiences. Yeah. So, so given that, the world is changing. What are you seeing? So... When we put this into context of consumer digital experiences, there's two big phenomenon going on. And I like to use this paradigm or framework when we think about the glass. The glass is the thing that consumers touch or interact with. And so on the glass, these interfaces are evolving and becoming more immersive. So we're seeing a lot more conversational interfaces that are more human-like and more natural. We're seeing more with extended reality, augmented or virtual reality. And if you think about the Apple Vision Pro, it's certainly given a boost. And then, you know, far, far off in the future, there may be something called a metaverse. And so on the glass, these experiences are becoming incredibly immersive. And then below the surface, there's a very different phenomenon going on where experiences are becoming more invisible. Hmm. What I mean by invisible is brands are going to do more to anticipate the needs of consumers and push out information or make suggestions or take action on their behalf. When I'm trying to get stuff done, I don't want to spend time. I don't want to engage. I want those experiences to be more invisible. And so that's also where mobile messaging will ultimately play a big role. That doesn't actually feel like it's marketing or messaging. If you think about engagement, right, and especially engagement within the context of an app, a marketer is really trying to build the value of a consumer and keeps them engaged over this entire customer life cycle. So the, yeah, there are some, there is some mobile messaging where it orients towards getting somebody to pay attention, to download an app. There's promotions, there's specials, there's deals, there's exclusive inventory, and a, and a marketer is going to lean into all of those things. But then the marketer also wants to keep the customer engaged through the purchase and the use of the product. Then there becomes a different set of use cases. They want to nudge me. They want to create convenience, right? So uh, like a marketer is going to own all of that if they're ultimately going to own the entire customer journey and life cycle with a brand. 